hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video and it's titled candice owens destroys jessica taluf you guys i'm excited for this if you're here to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what this video is all about we know that there is assault on women's health care rights from this administration things just, like that just just yeah just please please i hate this this selective feminism that we hear on the left all the time okay well don't make this a feminism issue because it's not a feminism but issue. it is when you're because, going out and attacking on, women Candace you're not i'm not done i'm not done okay when you're going out and attacking women you are not a feminist this is not defensible whatsoever and you sit here and you say that i'm sorry what that's candace owens absolutely shredding liberal jessica tarloff on fox news Looks like Jessica shouldn't have left her cartoonish smart people glasses at home <laughs> because Candace is absolutely locked and loaded in this clip. Welcome to NERC News. Today, we're going to take a few minutes to break down this clip, applaud Candace for being so thoroughly prepared, and laugh as Jessica struggles to keep up. I mean, right out of the gate, Candace has Jessica on her heels by saying that she's not mm -hmm. a feminist and underplaying her comment about Trump attacking women's health care. The basis of this is that people are upset that illegal immigrants are being separated from their mothers. Why don't you refocus some of that energy to the black community? They've been having their families separated. In fact, it's subsidized in the black community. You appreciate single motherhood. So all of this selective fake outrage when you guys do not have the same defenses for the black community is really lost on me. And it's, it's time's ups on this altogether. Once again, Candace absolutely has this correct. Uh, Johnson and his war on poverty and the Great Society encouraged fatherless families and married off single mothers to the welfare mm -hmm. state. Uh, he knew if you created an entitlement class, which are primarily black, that you would have them hooked for life. Last year alone, we spent something over like $900 billion on 80 different poverty programs, and the percent of Americans who are poor since the 60s has barely budged. People like Jessica don't give two craps about any of that. Uh, they just like waving their BLM flags around and making obnoxious posts on social media saying they're allies or something. I believe I was keeping it civil, and then Candace told me that I wasn't a feminist. I also believe that Candace doesn't speak I for the entire... I didn't say you weren't. I you said did. You okay, actually ladies, said. ladies, ladies, I, Jessica. I, I said the left. I didn't say you, Jessica, you, so don't make it personal. Well, I said the left. It's selective feminism on the left that we're seeing. Why, you guys? I love how Candace Owens is very bold and not afraid to talk. I love when she comes with fat because the way she is bashing this Jessica lady is... The way she is bashing jessica is totally out of this world and i love it when she emphasizes on her point just to drive her message home this is very interesting and oh my god i love this kind of debate where candace shows off her i love this kind of debate where candace totally puts people in their right places let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below and let's wrap this video up you guys feminism on the left that we're seeing we have heard this for years that Kellyanne Conway, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, and all the women who work for this president and support his agenda aren't getting their due. They're not getting their due from the feminist community because they are advocating for policies that hurt women. <laughs> I, I love how this is central to their identity for some reason. Like they look at men and see how they're stuck in the rat race or dead end jobs or working their butts off in unsafe environments and they say to themselves, Hey, that's mm -hmm. not fair. You tricked us because brainwashing yourself into being a crappy version of a man and doing some sort of make work job where you send emails all day for little to no pay is something to be proud of, apparently. I mean, I'm not saying that women shouldn't work if they want to, but under feminism, that's all they're allowed to do. It makes women unhappy, yeah. halves the salaries of men, and creates a two income trap where both parents have to work so they can pay another person to raise their kids or not have them at all. He said Kirsten Nielsen should be harassed because of her position and because what is going on with immigration do you think because of that she deserves to be treated the way that she does she was essentially forced out of a mexican restaurant i My think that was, people she that. should have civil conversations about it and certainly have every right as a public official to come up to her table and to call her out on her lies and this administration's lies if she wants to leave because of it that's on her this is a very slippery slope the left should stop this because then you're basically saying that in the future this is going to be allowed in administrations that you do support and as i said the selective outrage for illegal families when this has been going on in the black community no one talks about the fathers that are separated the fathers that are behind Behind bars, the fathers that are buried on, on the south side of Chicago and in Baltimore. So again, this is completely mm. to me seems like fake outrage, and I don't support but it. What? Candace, that's why I have to leave it there. Obama, we're gonna have to leave it there. His 
Well, there you have it. You gotta love when Candace goes toe-to-toe with these people because they just aren't prepared to have someone call them out on all their little virtue signaling that they do and hollow performative nonsense. They're caught off guard when Candace pulls their mask off and they have nothing to attack her on because she has check marks in all their favorite victim group boxes. They can't stand when any of these marginalized people think for themselves and say that they don't need any elitist snobs getting offended on their behalf. But what do you think? Who came out on top in this clip? Should Jessica have brought her smart person glasses? Let me know in the comments. Until then, this has been Nerk News. Boy! Wow, you guys, that was such a heated debate between Candice and Jessica. I really enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Who do you think won this debate? Hands down. I think Candice did justice to this one. And I really enjoy her fears, how straightforward and how bold Candice Owens is in this debate. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I really enjoyed every minute of this. If you guys totally enjoyed watching, give this video a massive thumbs up. Comment, share and all that good stuff. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.